Hey, what's up guys? Frank Fulci back again with another uh, horror haul here. Unboxing video, collection update video. Um, the lighting is a little trash today. It's a gray day and I've never had good lighting here, but you guys have seen worse from me, so we should be good. Uh, let's jump right into it. I'm gonna do things a little backwards here. I'm gonna do one music related thing and then I'll get into the movies. And I actually have another BAM box to unbox today. So I'll do it all in one big video and we'll get it out of the way. Hopefully my battery lasts. I think I should be good. Hope everybody's doing all right out there with this crazy shit going on. But other than that, I don't wanna to say too much about it. Just want you guys to be able to watch and see all the good stuff I got in this week and take your minds off of some crap for a little bit. So thank you for stopping by here. So this is from an artist named Humble Among. He's been in the scene for a while. Uh, he used to go by a couple of different names back in the forum days when we used to be on horrorcore.com. I don't know, 15, 20 years ago, he used to go by the name of Pug. And I just found out that he is now Humble Among. In between, there was a period where he was uh, Humble Among Thieves, I think. Anyway, I got a t-shirt here. See, it says Humble Among on there. This is a large, but it seems freaking huge. But anyway, Humble Among shirt. And then he threw in these uh, mixtapes. Well, it's a few stickers and things, so that's cool. Threw in these mixtapes that he had found. He said he was going through some old stuff, old boxes and things, and he found these. What are you talking about, mixtape? Uh, fuck you, computer. <laughs> Can't really see that. Um, I guess this is called Joker. And the last one is more songs for you, 2006 to 2009. So like a little compilation thing. It's just black and there. So yeah, bought the t-shirt and he threw those in for me. So thank you, brother. All right, guys, let's get into the movies. And then we'll get into, like I said, I have a BAM box that I can unbox for you guys. I believe it's a February box. First up, this is one I bought from... Ah, so angry about this. Fuck me. eBay user. And yeah, it's brand new, like they said, but I was hoping for the slip on this. So if any of you guys out there can help me out on that. Bone Tomahawk, fucking hell. I have the DVD from years ago when it was released in 2015. And I've always had a DVD and I wanted to upgrade to the Blu-ray to, to re-watch the movie. And I was hoping for the fucking slipcover. I know I'm crazy for whatever, going so nuts about it, but if any of you guys out there have the slipcover and you're willing to part with it, let me know. But this is a great movie. All of uh, S. Craig Zaylor, I think his last name is. Yeah, S. Craig Zaylor. All of his movies are fantastic. Highly recommend that one. Man, I'm pissed about that slipcover. I knew buying it off of anywhere these days. I'm, you know, I probably missed out. But the next one. Not sure how to feel about this. I haven't seen it yet, but everyone's going crazy over it. But I'm interested in it for sure. And that's Color Out of Space, the new Nicolas Cage starrer uh, by Richard Stanley. I guess it's like a yeah, HP Lovecraft thing. I, I don't know. I have heard good things like in terms of people liking it. I haven't heard too many uh, details like what's good about it, what's not. So I guess I'll just have to see for myself. But it's Color Out of Space. So this was both from the same user, uh, same seller on eBay. And they came pretty quickly, so. Next up, I have a little package from Epic Pictures. Uh, you guys may know them. They do like they work with uh, Dread Central to do the Dread Presents uh, movies. I watched one the other day from the last sale. Man, it was fucking bad. It was called Hoax, and it was uh, like a, supposed to be like a Bigfoot movie. Man, I, that movie was fucking terrible. But the thing is, for the most part, I like a lot of their movies, so that's why I've been, finally been picking them up, filling up the collection of them. And I think that was been the first one that I've actually really like disliked a lot. 
But anyway, they had a Friday the 13th like discount, 25% off on stuff. Now it's not as good as the Black Friday 50% off, but I was in the mood of picking up some of their stuff, so I figured why not. So they have a little few like promo cards here. One for the fair, which I own and I haven't watched yet. Hopefully that's good. Hoax, this is the one I was just talking about. Fucking terrible. And Candy Corn, which I actually really enjoyed. That's a good one. I have that too. A little Dread sticker. Very nice. All right, let's get into the movies here. So these, most of these I haven't seen. Actually, all of them except for one. I'll show you that one at the end. Imitation Girl and Nina Forever. Oh, so they had double feature. These were already like a little discounted. Then I got the 25% off with the code. But Nina Forever, I've heard good things about. I think it's like a zombie comedy. And then the other one is Imitation Girl. I don't know much about. And it looks like the way they do this is weird. So the cover shows Imitation Girl. The back shows just information about Nina Forever, like with... Oh no, the bonus features talk about both of them and stuff. Let's see. When an alien takes the form of an adult film star, both must learn to cope with the complex... What? Both? Who the fuck is both? When an alien takes the form of an adult film star? Isn't that one thing now? Both must learn to cope with the complexity of being human in this mesmerizing film festival favorite. What the fuck are you talking about? Both. All right. Lauren and Ashley Carter plays the dual role of Juliana and the alien. Oh, so an alien comes down, takes the form of an already living human. Oh. Not worded very well, but maybe I'm just an idiot. Anyway, hashtag screamers and the monster project. Monster project. I think I have seen. I think that's a found footage film. I think I saw that a while ago. Actually, I might have gotten like a screener to review or something so there may actually be a review up on repulsivereviews.com anyway i'm not going to read anything about this but yeah looks like maybe the other one might be like a found footage type of uh, technology based horror movie but uh, these are also numbered in the collection so this is number six double feature number seven uh these are again epic pictures this is number five another double feature Zombieology and Vidar the Vampire. Again, never heard anything really about them in terms of details. Uh, I'm assuming just by the names alone, they're both kind of probably um, comedies again. But nothing wrong with that, especially in these times. You can use a little laugh. Next, this is one of their newer ones. And this is, oh, this is actually not numbered. Well, that stinks. They broke their numbering. Maybe it's a reverse cover and it's number on the other side, but. Anyway, this is called The Wave, uh, starring Justin Long, who I actually like quite a bit. 87 minutes, all right. Some special features and things. Uh, let's go ahead and read the synopsis here. Frank, played by Justin Long, an opportunistic insurance lawyer, thinks he's in for the time of his life when he goes out on the town to celebrate an upcoming promotion with his co-worker Jeff. But their night takes a turn for the bizarre when Frank is dosed with a hallucinogen that completely alters his perception of the world, taking him on a psychedelic quest through board meetings, nightclubs, shootouts, and alternative, uh, alternate dimensions. As Frank ping-pongs between reality and fantasy, he finds himself on a mission to find a missing girl, himself, and his wallet. Alright, could be goofy, could be good, but that's the wave. And last but not least, this is one I should have picked up during the 50% 50, 50 sale. This is one I have seen and one I highly suggest. Number four, uh, to hell and back, the Kane Hodder story. This is a fucking great watch. Uh, Kane Hodder is the man, if you guys already didn't know that. Obviously, we like him as an actor and stuntman and all that stuff, but he's fucking awesome. And this is actually really good. It's, you know, gets kind of emotional at certain points he talks about like his burns and stuff but a really fucking good watch had to have that i'm a dummy for not having it already in my collection but hey better late than never right and last up guys bam box so again this was a gift from my friends for christmas the first box came i don't know how they do their like shipping it's weird i haven't been able to get a hold of it yet this is the second in a series of three, as far as, like I said, the, my friend got me a you know, Christmas gift. Uh, I believe this is the February box, but again, I don't know how they do it. It's like, just got it a couple, like this past week, obviously. If I could open the box, it would be nice. And if it's from February, that's quite a long time to wait. So, I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and break the fucking box, which kind of sucks, because I like to keep 
what, what is happening here? Oh God, Van Box, you really upset me. Anyway, all right, just broke the box. So let's jump into this, guys. Nice little BAM paper here. Match three and win, I'll see at the end if I win anything. First up, we have a little art card. So this is similar to last, I'm assuming it's all similar every month. It's, again, it's only my second one I've ever done, so I don't really know, but here's an art card from The Shining. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if it says artist. Congratulations. This is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. This card is part of a set of two and a bigger set of 12. Collect both cards to make the set. Featuring fan art by artist Jake Geiger. Number 520 of 2500. So pretty cool. Comes a nice little top loader. Oh, oh, sick. So I got a level up card which says you've been leveled up one of your items in your box is a variant that means there are fewer made than the regular item please check your insert to see which one you got oh that's exciting man i was looking for that last time i didn't get it but again for only having done this this is my second time it's pretty good odds pretty good chances this is pretty cool oh alien on board uh like suction cuppy thing i guess you'd put it in your car Huh, it's kind of cute actually. I like that. You know, you see baby on board a lot with you know people that are driving with their baby seat in there. So alien on board. I don't usually put stuff like this in my car, but I might make an exception for this. Next up is a nice little uh, enamel pin, volume five, box two, collectible enamel pin. This is from uh, Little Shop of Horrors, the remake with uh, what's his name? Is his name Rick Moranis? I used to watch his movie when I was a kid. Um, pin has a limited release of 250 numbers are on the back of the pin so it's on the actual pin itself apparently which i didn't look at my zombie cap pin last month number yet still uh, wrapped up but that's a pretty cool pin next ho oh, ho have a nice little uh vampires dracula nosferatu looks like a little igor oh who a lot of these people are but signed art print uh, let's see if I can see what this says in the darkness that I'm in. Certificate of Authenticity. This fan art print from our fan art collection is exclusive to Bandbox and has been hand signed by the artist. It's guaranteed to be authentic. All right. So again, hopefully you guys can see that. Pretty dope artwork there. And last but not least. Um, oh, Jeepers Creepers signed by somebody print I should, hopefully this is i don't know if this is from jeepers creepers one or two or three the third movie was fucking terrible even though i waited forever for that to come out i actually quite like the first two signature on this item was personally witnessed by representative bam authentic uh, authentic and it is guaranteed to be authentic so authentication, authentication can be verified at bamauthentic.com. How many guys want to say authentic, bro? It doesn't say who it's signed by. Hopefully it's signed by the guy who plays the creeper, whose name, of course, is eluding me right now. For the next couple of months, we will be going to a digital handout until the printing companies we use are back up and running full speed. Please find yours at the bambox.com insert. Sick. So I don't know which one of these is the limited version. Bandbox kind of upsets me with certain things. All right, that's not their fault. Their print company that they use is not working. I get it, but like, all right, one of these things is limited, guys. I don't know which one is the variant. That's cool. Let me scratch this thing off and see if I want anything else. First is a BAM logo. Second is not a BAM logo. So obviously I didn't win, but let's see what the third one is. Oh, that's kind of shitty ass. Two BAM big box logos and one BAM logo. So I was close, two out of three. Scratch an instant winner symbol and win instantly. All right, so nice little art work in there and signatures and things. So that is, again, I think February because of course there's no insert in there. I ripped the box, so I'm never gonna be able to keep them in here, but I'll put them in the other box I still have from last month. 
And that's it guys. So band box, some CDs and a t-shirt and then some cool uh, random movies here. So hopefully you guys liked what you saw here today. Uh, hit me in the comments. Let me know if you've seen any of these things. I really hope a lot of people have seen that Kane Hodder doc because that thing is awesome. But uh, I have a Severin package coming this week. Well, whenever the mail decides, it has been shipped. Severin package from their sale. Definitely some other stuff that I'm forgetting. Oh, Warner Brothers stuff still from their sale. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, a couple other things. So I should have some stuff to show you guys, hopefully within this next week. Again, obviously with everything going on, the mail has been slower, delayed, whatever. So, but I should have at least one or two packages to show you. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys. Hopefully uh, you liked what you saw here. Hit me in the comments below, like I said. Give me that thumbs up, share the video, whatever you want to do. Uh, if you're a new person here on my channel, welcome. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have, I think, 72 other videos. I think this is the 73rd week in a row that I've done this. So over a year, obviously. Um, so yeah, a lot of content to watch. Hopefully you guys get through there. Uh, you know, see some stuff you like. I, last week was a big haul for the first time in a while. But yeah, I used to do hauls where I would have, uh, you know, 20, 30, 40 movies at a time that I was showing off. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys. Hopefully everyone's doing well and uh, continues to stay healthy and safe. And until next week, guys, peace out. Be good.